Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Eliana. How are hello. you? Hello. Very good. And you? Well, you know, just fine, just fine, I guess. <laughs> With bad news, sad news. I got bad news, you know. Today I took my car Why? to the mechanic. Uh, and uh, it's gonna be like uh, six. Oh my God, so sorry. Yeah, I was like, oh no. Uh, well, things happen. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, it was necessary because there were too many things happening at the same time, but man, it hurts. I mean, whenever you're gonna spend on your car, you know that, I mean, you gotta be prepared with a couple of hundreds. Yeah. But when, when, yeah. It, goes, when it goes above 500, you start like feeling like tight, you yeah. know? Yeah. I know and what we're talking about. And the funny thing is this, I'm supposed to, I mean, as soon as I take this one out of the garage, I need to take the other one. Oh my God. Ah, oh, yeah, hurts, It's expensive, hurts. but No, I'm cars. gonna do it next month, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's expensive. Oh, two cars and one motorcycle. And I'm still doing some, some paperwork for one of the motorcycles because I need I need to take it to uh, to BMT in order to get all the paperwork because okay. it's out of the system. I took it to Experticia. Tomorrow I'm going uh, for another check-in and then I gotta pay. Man, these two months are hard. Believe me, they yeah. are hard, terrible. <laughs> but what can we do? Yeah. What about you? How's everything? Tell me. Well, everything is fine. Uh, well, my weekend, a very slow weekend again. Well, it, uh, Saturday morning, I went to the doctor, but actually I had two appointments with two different doctors. Oh, yeah, you told me, you told me. Yeah. But everything's uh, fine. Everything is fine, thanks God. That, that appointment took me all, all the morning. Actually, I got home almost at noon, mm. and but everything is okay. That's the important thing. Yeah, what's, that's okay. what really I'm matters. I'm fine, and, and my my health is it's good. I'm healthy, and everything is nice. Then, uh, well, I ordered some some food for my dad and for me. At Hugo, up we yeah. ate. Um, Chinese food, Panda Express. Oh, cool. Yeah, orange chicken was was delicious. And then I broke I broke my my lucky lucky cookie. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that 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 thing is fun. But well, after we we took lunch, I just cleaned the house, washed some clothes, and organized my closet. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, almost five. I just make a, a made a cup of coffee and watched a seed, a uh, series, Grace okay. Anatomy in, in Prime video. <laughs> that series is very, very interesting. And yeah, you know what? I used to watch it when you were a little kid. A little? When you were a little kid, I used to watch the series. <laughs> Yeah, it that series has is eight, eight, what is pretty old. Yeah, no, but have have you know, the series has, 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 has eighteen seasons. Yeah, it's long. It's long, and then when I was watching that series, I am saving myself eight, for. Eight. I'm saving myself for vacation so I can watch Peaky Blinders. I didn't see 
that's serious. But I am my I'm, best friend told me that the, that, is, that is good. The last season is the one that I need to watch, the only one. Did you see La Casa de Papel? Oh yeah, sure. And it's like good. like on a row, yep. Pretty good. Okay. I like it. I, you rec you recommend me that series? Well, it depends on, on what you like because for me it was interesting. It was um, and they needed to investigate, they needed to plan, and I mean I love thrillers. Mm -hmm. Things like where people that make you think a lot. Those okay. are the ones. Those are the ones I love, and it was cool. I like it. I really enjoyed it. Actually, you know, we made a uh, here in my house. I mean, first my son and me we watched it like we didn't sleep until we finished it. The first one. <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, we both got hooked. <laughs> and that rarely happens to me I mean that happens to me with books not with TV series but with that one it was cool for me for me I mean it's my type of, of series I like it it's... okay maybe I'll think about it if... yeah give it a try yeah but you know to give it a try you need to watch at least three or four chapters okay Okay, perfect. That way you get you get the hang of it, the rhythm of it. Okay. And I like it. I mean, it's it's fast paced, but you get to to to, to analyze, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. and it's fine. Okay. You should try it. You should try it. It's pretty nice. Good. I took your recommendation. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, as I tell you, I don't. Well, you know, I'm always working, so I don't usually watch yeah, TV I know. that much. But whenever I, that's why whenever I get the chance to watch TV, I try to look for something exciting, interesting for me. But when I tell you exciting, I mean, it's like, uh, I like action series, action movies, but not that much. I mean, I like the ones that really make you think. Those are the ones that I love. That's why I love thrillers. Thrillers are nice. Okay. And they really entertain me. And actually, that's the type of uh, literature that I read the most, thrillers. Oh. Well, that's, that's what nice. I, that's what I love reading. Yeah. I mean, it takes my mind out of the, whatever I got going on on my daily life yeah well nice having uh, you. Mm, thank, thank you teacher you, my pleasure yeah because liana is looking at me like what's up why are you not talking to me hello i mean Heidi. Heidi is looking at me like what's up why are you not talking to me hello Heidi. Heidi is finally home good evening <laughs> how finally does it feel home. to be home at this time of the day <laughs> I couldn't rest during the weekend, like I thought I, I would rest. So I'm still a little bit tired. Oh. My, so my, my two babies got sick. Mm, that's a problem. Yeah, but that's I'm ready. Okay, and are they okay now? Kind of. So, so. Yeah, you know, kids are like that. Yeah, I know. I mean, Whenever you think everything's okay, suddenly they got sick. Mm -hmm. And they feel terrible, terrible, terrible until the moment that they are going that they are sitting right in front of the doctor. <laughs> At that moment they are cool. Mm -hmm. Nothing hurts, nothing happened. Oh man. I know, I know what you mean. That happened to me a lot. You know, my son's got uh, when he was a kid of his got uh, asthma. And allergies. Mm. So uh, it was fun. Sometimes we used to arrive to the hospital and he was kind of purple. And, and you know, I'm very, very, very strong, but if there's something that can break me down, is to see them like that. Yeah. And the problem is that we, as parents, we would like to fix everything instantly. And it's mm. uh, frustrating sometimes not to be able to. 
to ail them, right? Mm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but that's natural. I mean, that's natural. Yeah. I mean, actually, that's part of the job. You know, in the in the small letter that comes when you sign up for mm -hmm. being a mother or a father, it comes there. It says, forget about sleeping, forget about being calm your whole life. Yeah, but, that's true. But you know, it's got its moments. It's got nice moments. I mean, there are certain things that make it up. They really make it up. Yeah, I know. But still, it's hard. It's hard. How many kids you got? Three. Three? Mm -hmm. Man, I will have blown my brain so. I just got one. I got three. My older kid. Uh, is 21 and uh, the oldest the oldest the oldest mm -hmm. and the youngest is seven okay no man mine is 19 and no more that was it for me mm -hmm. just one just one and i made sure just to have one no more than one three is a lot these days but i don't regret yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. But the problem in my case was that uh, 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 her health was not good, and it was pretty hard, a pretty hard delivery of that mm. kid. So I didn't want to risk it no more. I mean, imagine I me, me having a little kiddo on my own. I cannot even cook. <laughs> That poor was baby. crazy. Yeah, <laughs> poor baby. I was thinking, man, a baby having me, just me as a as a parent, poor little thing. Mm. I cannot even take care of myself sometimes. You would have learned. Yeah, you know, I like I like sure. studying, I like uh working a lot, but I'm a lazy ass when it comes to taking care of little kids. It's I mean, hard. I do it. I do it. I do it and no problem. But it's not something that I like. The only thing I used to like was taking my kid out when he was a little baby. I used to take mm -hmm. him out, go to my mom's house, just me and him. And I used to get the, the big bag. I don't know how, I don't remember how we call it in English, the freaking panelera. I used to take it, get Better? my baby. Mm. I don't remember the name in English and grab the bus and go just by myself. It was cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I had have, I have no problem. If his mother needed to go something, she had a party, she had something to go out with her coworkers. Well, for me, it was like, no problem, leave me the kill, I'll take the kill all day long. Cool. So we used to have fun. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, but now, you know, he's a grown up. And it's funny because I mean uh, he spends a lot of time with me and he's pretty close to me. Yeah, I know. For me it's it, hard because of my schedule. You know, yeah. I spend only a few hours a day with them. Oh yeah, I understand you totally, totally. When I come home, they want to be with me. They don't want to be with their nannies. Yeah, I know what you mean. In my case, it's almost the same. Sometimes I arrive home, he's studying at the university. I mean, there are days that we just talk like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because between his obligations and my obligations, it becomes pretty hard. Mm -hmm. I understand. But here we go. Yeah, that's the way it goes. I mean, what can we do? And in the end, I mean, we try to give them the best. Mm -hmm. And that thing's hard. And to have the, that, I mean, to make that equilibrium in your situation is pretty hard. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, oh, I got a phrase for you. It's, 
face. Let's call. Have you seen this expression? Have you heard it? Mm -hmm. that now it we... takes its toll. Yeah. When we say this is know. like, uh, I mean, oh, I'm sorry. I may I include a, a, an apostrophe that is not there. It's possessive. It's mm. just like that. When we say it takes its toll, we mean uh, pasa factura. Sorry? Pasa factura. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Just give me a second. Okay. Yeah, it takes its toll. I mean, at the end of the day, sometimes they go to sleep, cool, calm, relax, and you end up like dead. Yeah, I know. And, and believe me, sometimes I leave them sleeping and I find them sleeping when I come back. So they don't see me. Yeah, yeah, I understand you. Yes, I mean, it happens. That used to happen to me a lot, a lot. There was a time when he was a little kid that I used to leave my house at 5, 30, 5 a.m. in the morning. And I used to come back around 9, 30, 10. I mean, I used to spend sometimes like three, four days without seeing, playing, talking to him. And for five years, I was out. And for a couple of years, I was just coming, out, coming home like, every fortnight, every two weeks. So mm -hmm. it's hard, it's, it's very hard. hard. Yeah, that's why, you know, having kids for me. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, because I mean, you need to be there for them. Yeah, I know. You have to be there for them. And for me, I mean, I have always said that uh, you gotta face up the responsibilities you sign up for. Mm -hmm. So, but it's cool, you know, in the end it's cool. Kids are nice, I like them. The one of my neighbors, they are very cool, very nice. <laughs> Heidi, nice talking to you, welcome. Nice talking to you, teacher. Hey, there's Ana Claudia. Hello, Ana Claudia. Hello, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm just fine, tell me, how are you and your seven kids? <laughs> <Am I? laughs> Come on, how you laugh? <laughs> that makes me laugh. <laughs> I can tell, I can tell. I can oh tell. You God. got enough with, with nephews and nieces. Exactly. I love them as if they are my own kids and they know it. Mm, they know it. Uh, no, I'm okay. I'm just working. Uh, this month started strong because uh, uh, since Friday, I was able to uh, make some sales that they were like stuck in the uh, previous months. I've been dealing or talking with some customers for at least five, three months ago and talking and talking and convince them. And suddenly on Friday, boom, <laughs> they uh, oh, That's good for business. Huh? That's good for business. Exactly. Yeah, because you know, right now I'm in my 50% of. Oh, really? Of your goal? But, but for the first one, remember I had two goals. Yeah, yeah. One is 100%, and the second one, which is the more, most important, is the 150%. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I have. My first goal is to sell eleven thousand dollars, and right now I'm in six thousand. More okay, than okay, so mm -hmm. so you are in the right path. Mm, I'm in the banish because yes, let's say I'm in the right path. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I mean, that's great. Right. How can making... I say? 
eh, ¿cómo puedo decir que voy adelantado? Mm. I'm ahead. Ah, ok. I'm ahead. Ah, ok. I'm ahead because, you know, we count, for example, every month has, this month, for example, has 21 days, 21 working days. So, if we have a revenue goal for $11,000, we divide, um, this is the day two, dividing uh, 21 days. Today I must achieve my, that's an example, I don't know the exact percentage, but I must achieve my 17%. And right now I'm in my 55%, so I'm ahead, right? Yeah. Ah, sure. okay. Uh, that is, it, these two days uh, of the month, they uh, have been or they has been? They have been. <laughs> but it's continuously. <laughs> okay, they have been uh, uh, with a lot of pressure, with a lot of work to do, tasks to complete, but it's okay. It's okay. Today, teacher, we know who will drop the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm counting on it. Who? Who was? Thank you. <laughs> you. Thank you, Ana Claudia. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's going to throw the party for everybody. Which party? I don't know what I'm just talking about. <laughs> you're going to prepare a party for everybody. I mean, you get Oh, you're I'm going to a party by Zoom, of course. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Ana Claudia. By Zoom, I will show you some desserts, I will show you some food, some meal. It's all over Zoom, so. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna show us what you do. Pictures, you no pictures of what chefs do, not me. <laughs> hmm. No, it's, I'm going to look for, I'm going to Google for some pictures on the web and stuff like that. Okay, welcome to the class. Anna. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Jose Wilfredo, how are you? Ah, so far, so good, teacher. So far, so good. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Tell me, what about what about the, 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 the next week? You're going to have vacation any day or not at all? Oh, teacher, I have to work uh, the whole well, week. We don't know that word yet. <laughs> so, Jose Wilfredo. <laughs> We, we have to work the whole week, teacher. Well, the whole, the, the whole. Uh -huh, the whole. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, the five, the five days. Man, you know what, Sal? Then, I but will I, have, I will rest the week. Sal? I will, I will have seven days of vacation. Seven days long. Seven, seven long, long days. days of vacation. Yeah, man. That's seven really good, Chris. Oh, not that good, you know. I mean, I got uh, I got uh, two jobs, but it's uh -huh. okay because I mean I got paid by the month, no problem. Mm -hmm. The rest of my jobs are by the hour. That's no, not good. Okay. Yeah, that's right, Chris. I know what you mean. Yeah, because I'm like, man, that week's going to be long. So yeah. for me, it's a slow month. And besides that, on top of that, whenever there's vacation, I, I don't know why I end up spending a lot of money. <laughs> exactly. But you have, to, you have to spend a lot of money to, to get some fun with your family. Yeah, whatever. Now what fun? I will get... You know, I will get a lot of paint and I will get everybody painting the house. That's going to be pretty funny. You know, it's <laughs> a family activity. Uh, the, what a good family activity is that? Yeah, yeah. You know, you got to share with your family. It's good. So they treasure <laughs> that time. We're going yeah, to be making something very constructive. <laughs> They're going to kill me if they hear me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah no but uh, i mean there are certain certain activities we're going to we have set up for that week 
But as I was telling Eliana, oh, I am starting the month bad. You know, took the car to the mechanic. It's going to be bad. Oh, your car was trash. Uh, no, it's just that uh, they need to fix, uh, let's see, choke absorbers, uh, one support, uh, one engine support. Uh, let's see, um, two, uh, how do we call this in English? Mm. Writing now. Uh, you know what? The, the cars know when the bonus is coming. Yeah, oh. Yeah, I, I just got <laughs> the work. You know, I gotta, I gotta buy ignition coils. Uh -huh. You know what's that? Yep. Okay, I gotta buy two. In the best wow. of cases, just two. Uh huh. And spark plugs. And the oil. Man, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, you nice. have to pay a lot for it. It's gonna hurt, and I was telling her. And the funny thing is that I'm taking one out, and I'm gonna put the other one in. Beautiful. Yeah, but it's a little maintenance, so for the next uh, fix, it gonna be uh, cheaper. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, but it hurts. Yeah, yeah, I know. But you know that's part of life. I mean, you wanna have a good car or at least a, a functioning, you know, working properly. You need to spend, and that's an investment. Yeah, yeah. And um, what about with the new price of the gas? You know, I'll be honest with you. That's something that almost never stresses me. I'll tell you why. No, um, because tell... you have, a, yeah, I know, I know why. Because you mm. have the motorcycle. No, no, no. To be honest with you, it's not because of that. I try to avoid looking at the news, and I try to avoid whenever I pass by the gas station. I try to avoid looking how much is it. I mean, I just get in and say, "Hey, here, twenty. That's it." I don't even look how much. I just look at the at the at the at the little squares on the meter. Uh -huh. Otherwise, I mean, it could be so horrible. So I don't try to look at it. And and I ne almost never watch the news. Oh really? I, I rarely. If I watch the news twice a month, it's a lot. I don't usually <laughs> watch the news. I read yeah. the news, but I read uh, Reuters and I need I read CNN, and but the news from here, mm -mm. not really. I'm not that much into it. Yeah, it's but so stressful. I, yeah, I know. I have to be really informed because, like, I drive. Uh, oh yeah, but in your case, it's business. Yeah, that's right. In your case is business. You need to be on top of it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So I have to be really pending of that. Yeah, and I mean, in my case, when I whenever I take the motorcycle, like last week, no, last week I took the car. The previous one, I took the motorcycle. Uh, I spent five dollars a week of gas. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and if I take the car, I spend between twenty to twenty-five. Twenty to twenty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Very weak. Yeah. Well, I yeah, spent I mean, like I, I spent like fifty one here week just yeah. one well, car. Yeah. No. In my case, I mean that's my thing. So I mean, whenever I take the motorcycle, I feel like cool, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess that is really good for you. Yeah. Yeah. And and the, the, the role I take, I mean, there's no traffic, so nothing to worry. Oh, that's different because the role that I usually take, so we have a lot of traffic. But the problem is the complete opposite. I mean, yeah. I, need to, I need to run like for six kilometers on a dust road. 
the music? Yeah. Dust and stone. So it's pretty bumpy, it hurt the car. You gotta be careful. Yeah, that's right, teacher. Yeah, you know, once I remember uh, like four or five years ago, one car that I had, uh, I hit a, a, a stone and then uh -huh. the exhaust fell from uh -huh. the car. It was terrible, man. Yeah. It was terrible, so I gotta be pretty careful. But you know, those are as you know your 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 classmate, your previous classmate used to say, occupational hazards. Yeah, occupation hazard. Yeah, that's right, teacher. Hey, that welcome to the class, Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you guys. Let me get the attendance, please. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Uh, Amber Eli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iguera Ciencia de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Comando Enrique Mata Escobar. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okay, guys, just let me, give me just a second, 30 seconds. It's all I need in order to check something. So I don't miss start with this. Just a second, just a second, I'm almost done. Okay, let's see. I still got 10 more minutes so we can talk a little bit more. Let's see who else is around. Rebecca, hello, Rebecca. How are you? Hi, teacher. I um, think I'm, I'm good. <laughs> okay, you think I'm good? Come on. No come. <laughs> Sorry. That's everything. But, but I, I have a headache, a really bad headache right now. <laughs> oh. Okay, don't worry. Take a pill. Let me know when you feel better. Okay, we will talk later. Yeah, I will. We, take got a, I, we will get many exercises tonight. We need to work on the manual, actually. Thank you, Rebecca. Welcome. Okay. Stephanie. Thank Hello, you. Stephanie. How's your throat going on? Mm, Did you come along well? It's good. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Good. Yeah, there's a girl again. Cool. <laughs> it's my boys. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Yeah, because I just have kind of, I don't know, can I say like a little bit cold, but yeah. it's, it's good. And, That's nice. and I don't have, I, I don't, know, well, my flu doesn't, what I, what I wanted to say, I want to say good. Come on, me, 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 flu, no sé, uh, my flu doesn't, doesn't get worse. Didn't. Uh, my flu didn't get worse. So. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah and for the moment, I'm good. Having the flu with this weather, man, that it's hot and stuff, it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my dogs. <laughs> uh, little animals are like that. Yeah, having the flu like that is terrible. I mean, it's pretty uncomfortable. 
Yes, and today in the morning, I just get a little bit about the rain, but, but I have my sweater with me, so everything's good today. And I just getting home for a few minutes ago. Oh, really? Yes. Sorry, right, yes. that was my dog. <laughs> like, like my dogs. But yes, yeah. I just get home and stay here and just and uh, putting my uh, my clothes and and then just clean a little bit my bed. Okay, cool. That's nice. Yeah. And in my case, the only thing that is calling me when I finish the class is my hammer. Because it's been oh. hard, you know. I don't usually I don't usually go to the hammock. I, mean, I really house, love the hammock. I have one, house, but it's outside. In my house there are two, but I mean almost never, you will almost never see me laying down in one of those things i mean okay uh, first i i never kind of of the time and then i mean i'm not that much into it but in the last two days to be honest with you i have fallen asleep at night in there because it's been too hot oh yes and moving the hammock you know your hammock is inside your home or outside because it's my it's my in hammock my back is patio outside. Ah, oh, okay. Party. Yeah, I know. I don't like because I, I, in my, yes, it's the same in my back patio, but I, I don't like to sleep there because there is kind of a mix insects and I don't like the insects. Insect well, stuff. you know, yeah. I, I bat on um, repellent and no problem. <laughs> okay, that's so good for you. Yeah. But hey, in my case, right now, no. Yes. Okay, cool. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I have taught almost two girls. Just Mr. Wilfredo, let's see. Francisco. Hello, Francisco. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how's everything? I'm fine, teacher. Uh, and and today uh, in the in the world uh, it was uh, at work at work at work. Sorry, uh, today is was uh, a little busy uh, because uh, I uh, I want a coworker. Uh, he don't uh, he don't he can't work in today. He couldn't. He couldn't. Sorry, he couldn't work in today. But in, for in in my in my house uh, today uh, uh, to my my children. Uh, how do you say le pusieron la vacuna, teacher? Oh, they got their shots. Got sure. their shots, got their vaccines. Yeah, you can say shots or vaccines. Wow, okay, teacher. And the, the, the rest of the, the afternoon, uh, he, he has a, a running fever oh really he was running a fever sorry teacher was running a fever okay teacher was running a fever he was running a fever oh that's so bad that's so bad yeah those things are, are like that they get you pretty uncomfortable yes sure yes but I mean, me working, working. Let's see, weekend. What did I do on the weekend? Saturday, I got to work. In the afternoon, I got to work. And we see classes from the university. Yesterday, about the shopping. Oh, terrible. 
Uh, in the, in the university, uh, which class uh, uh, you teach? No, I was receiving classes. I'm studying another career, so I was a student. And uh, the one that I hate is statistics. I hate it. <laughs> totally. Teacher, what, what career? Licenciatura uh, en Administración Escolar. Uh, is uh, is uh, uh, five there are five years yeah i'm in the fourth four years no 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 it's five years i am in the fourth right now ah okay ah. yeah so i mean it's nothing what i'm missing but uh man i mean last the thing is this that uh, I got in, they gave me, they took into an account the some subjects from my previous career. And because it's related, it's education also. So actually, um, this is my first semester, but uh, they took into an account three years of the previous one. Three years. So yeah, so I say, I mean, I didn't study two years for this second one. So that's cool. Oh, okay, teacher, very well. Yeah, but the only problem is this. Last time I, I was a student was 20 years ago, man. That's a long while. Yes. <laughs> and all this the... time, and all this time I've been in the other side. I've been teaching. Yes, teacher. This is the, 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 the problem. Yeah. But uh, I'm paying uh, something, I guess. I'm paying something. <laughs> I guess some of my students, when I was teaching at the university, are laughing right now at me. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay. Hey, Francisco, nice talking to you. Welcome. Teacher, and are you going to be a nice principal or a tough one? Well, to be honest with you, <laughs> I'm not planning to be a principal. I'm planning oh, really? to work in the, in the administrative areas. That's mm -hmm. what I would like to, because I mean, I've been in the classroom for a long while and I got some friends that uh, actually they are expecting me to finish in order to, to get me into some projects. For those projects, mm -hmm. I need that degree, mm -hmm. that specific degree, because the one that I got right now is in English, specifically. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got a specialty in English and that's what I studied. And uh, for that other area where I'm going, to, that where I want to get into and where I got some connections, uh, mm -hmm. I need I need the knowledge of and the title of administration. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. So that so, was a, so that title was related to be principal. I don't know. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Actually, it is. It's, re it's specifically for people who want to be principals. Hmm. But uh, what I need is the, 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 the knowledge related to schools administration, but not, in, not for me to be a school administrator. Perhaps mm -hmm. in my case, for me, supervising schools administrators. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I mean, that, that's what I would like to be. I mean, to be a principal, nowadays, it's a headache. <laughs> to I'm be sure. honest, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been coordinator. I've been vice principal. I have had to take the, the job of the principal a couple of times to go over. And it's complex, pretty complex. But, I mean, who knows? Whatever comes handy. And besides that, uh, with that title, I could teach different subjects at the university, not mm -hmm. just English. Mm -hmm. That's something else that uh, I would like to. I mean, right now it's been for me like four, you no, know, like three years without teaching at the university. So I would like to go back. That'd be it's great. Cool. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. That'd be great. You love teaching. Yeah. yeah. The only thing is that, you know, working for universities is not that well paid. Mm -hmm. 
you make more in other areas, but it's fun. I like it. To be honest with you, I like it. Actually, that's what I started doing to the universities back in the days. So we'll see, we'll see. I got many things going on at the same time. Something's going to pan out. Do you know that expression? Something's going to pan come out. Out. No, pan out. Mm. Yeah. Pan is a uh, casserole, right? Mm. But in this case, when you say that something is going to to, to pan out, uh, the idea is kind of. Uh, no. Mm, no, no, no. Algo va a salir. Mm. Algo va a suceder. O algo va a tener éxito. That's the idea when you say something's going to pan out. I mean, it's not, uh, it's pretty colloquial, right? It's a modicine. It is a modicine. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Time, okay, no, we gotta jump. Next activity. Okay, actually, I spent a little bit more of the time allotted to this activity. Okay, now we're going to go work with the manual for a little while, for a couple of minutes, because we have uh, three activities from the manual that we need to develop, perform tonight. And we are going to talk about digital marketing. That's simple, no? Digital marketing, it's something pretty common right now. It's something that we watch everywhere. I mean, you get into social media, you start looking for something on the web, I mean, and you start uh, advertising starts popping out. And I mean, and unless you get your software uh, program to block it, you start getting more and more and more. So what are some common examples of digital advertising and has digital marketing changed since the 90s? Okay, has digital marketing changed since the 90s? Oh, I will not ask Liana, no Stephanie, no Jose, no Marcos. That question is not for you guys. You are two kiddos for that. Let's see, let's talk. Who's old timer like me? Hmm. Well, the first one, yeah. Maria Alejandra, can you tell me what are some common examples of digital advertising? Maria Alejandra, hello. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> Stay here. Advertiser is a... Sorry, I don't remember. <laughs> Publicidad? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Um, I only see a lot of uh, advertisement in uh, Instagram. Okay. When you search for the different thing, for example, you search a uh, TV and uh, Instagram, Facebook, um, and put in your way <laughs> a different advertiser or do anything you search or talk. I think that I see and hear all the time. <laughs> yeah, the same goes for tweets. <laughs> we get a lot um, of uh -huh. I think that the same for la spoilers. I think that when you see a uh, stories and your past and you uh, appear in, in your field, a different advertising. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm so sorry. Ana Claudia, hello. Hey, come on, what happened? <laughs> Has digital marketing changed since the 90s? Mm, yes, yeah, of course, because nowadays it's easier that anybody, no. Anybody is okay to say? It's easier for for anybody for so, somebody uh, i'm sorry anybody is when you use negative right mm -hmm. 
Okay. For somebody to reproduce news or either also to um, record a video or a news and they upload it to the web. And that for me is a big change because nowadays everybody's kind of reported or, and also there are, there is a, a profile that in the nineties, I don't remember it was there, the influencers. Uh, inf influencers, I don't remember. No, in, really, the no. uh -huh. in the nineties, no. Exactly, and now influencers, I remember we saw in, in, in one of the lessons, fake oh. reviews. Yeah, now they are called, they want to be called creators of content. Ah, exactly, exactly. But these people makes the others to try or purchase or taste what they show as a big deal. And it, some, most of the time it isn't a big deal. For me, that is a, a big change that that profile wasn't known in the 90s, the influencer or the creator. So what do you say? Content, content, content. creators. Uh -huh. And Here's that's what they, that's what they are called now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and it's changing. It's evolving day after exactly. day. And these, these people move the digital marketing because a lot of uh, brands use them for good or for bad, use them for their purpose to try their their things, their brand. And yeah, yeah, you're right. Totally right. Okay, guys, now we are going to make uh, the, 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 the activity a little bit different. We're gonna do the conversation that appears in the manual, but right now I don't want nobody looking at the manual. I just want you listening to me, okay? Just listen to me. I'm going to tell you the, the, the text, but we are going to practice later. And the conversation goes like this. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then, we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay. We only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. I repeat, we are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page according to their preferences. Oops. In the web page, the site needs a makeover, my bad. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, guys. Now, I want you to, I'm going to share with you the text and I need you to pay attention to the pronunciation and to the words to see how much did you get, which words were giving you problems. This is a different type of, of exercise. Actually the most, the most, the best way to do it is like this. I say it to you, you start repeating, then you memorize it. Then, after you have memorized it, we wash the writing. But uh, in this format, it's kind of complex. But that could help a lot. We are going to try 
some little different strategies for the rest of the module in order to get into the conversations to see what works better for you. But right now, let me share with you the text. And we will see how much we got. Okay. So, Ellen and Harvey are talking about options to improve their digital marketing strategy. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, guys. I hope, I really hope you got most of it. And let me just share with you the, 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 the screenshot. Okay, and here we go, you got it. Okay, now you're gonna be working in pairs in order to do the conversation. Let me just get everything set because I need to make slight changes. Okay, groups are created, please jump in. Come on, let's see, everybody's jumping in. Let's see, yeah, everybody jump in. That's great, that's great, that's great. Let's go check them groups. Uh, okay. Do we need to practice this conversation? Uh, I'm going to start. Okay. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The sign is a makeover. Yes, I already designer optima optimize 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 the content in the web page. The seat needs a site needs a makeup okay yes already content contact some people who may be able to help okay we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategy direct 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 no, marketing like that. 
direct marketing strategies. Okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customers' data, consumers' data, sorry. And then we are planning to optim optimize, ¿cómo es la palabra? Okay. Optimize. Mm -hmm. Optimize the content of our web page according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us to help up, up, optimize the content content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategy strategies. So uh, let me start again. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by uh, analyzing our customers' data and then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to the preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs to make work. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Again? Yeah, of course. Who starts? Start, right. I, right. Okay. If me. No, you, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumer's data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page, of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay. Again? Yeah. Okay, you start. Okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Perfect. So, Perfect. It's time. Let's go. Okay. Bye. Bye. Necesito que me ayude con algo super rápido. Mándeme el nombre de la chica y el número de teléfono. Lo busqué aquí, pero tengo demasiado.
Let's see, we're just waiting for everybody to come back and we'll see who's gonna be first. Let's see. Okay. Where's hmm. Francisco? Francisco and Ramon. Okay, teacher. Who, you who start, started? Francisco. You. Okay, perfect. <laughs> we are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumer data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preference. Ramon? Okay, let's see. Fernando, are you ready? No, teacher, sorry, I'm just arriving. Okay, no problem, no problem. Let's see, there's a. Uh, 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 Rebecca, please. You and Francisco. Okay. Francisco is going to read again? Yeah, please, Francisco, restart. Okay, teacher, no problem. We are trying to improve our, our marketing and strategy by analyzing our consumer data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content of the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Thank you very much, both of you. Now, let's see. Marcos and Susana, please. Marcos, you'll start. We're, we're trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we're planning to optimize the content of our web page according to the preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, Susana, let's see. Makeover, makeover. Makeover. Uh, strategy, strategies. A strategy. Okay, thank you. Let's see, next one's gonna be Ana Claudia and Nicolás. Ana Claudia, you'll start. Okay. Um... We're trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we're planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Sorry. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help use optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a uh, makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, thank you. Teacher, I have a doubt. I 
heard data, I heard data, I heard. What is the correct pronunciation of that? Because I don't know, I confuse. Most of the people I work with, they say data. Okay, well, uh, most of Latin speakers, when they get to learn English uh, here, we say that. Uh, you will hear data, uh -huh. you will hear data. Uh -huh. The first one I learned was data, but that was British. Mm. And international English, you can use data or data. Data, okay. Or data, it's okay. If you say data, it's quite perfect. Ah, okay. Okay, you don't need to change. And the, actually, I was uh, I was checking that. And in your case, you use data. That's completely perfect. You don't need to change it. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And the same happens with direct. Some people say direct, direct. some people mm -hmm. say direct. Mm -hmm. Direct, okay? In my case, I say direct. British. Uh, <laughs> sort of in a way. Let's leave it like that. It's too okay. complex. Okay. But in my case, I say direct. And in American English, you will say direct or direct. You will hear both. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Canadian also. Mm, okay, good. Okay, let's see. Next, Amber and Jose Wilfredo. Will I will start? start? Amber, thank you. Okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data, and then we are planning to optimize the content of our web, web page according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should have a new uh, web, sorry. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay. We only need to discuss how to improve or direct marketing strategies. Thank you. Let's see. I'm sorry, guys. I just need to check something that I heard in your conversation. Um, Just a second, just a second. Okay. No, it was okay. It was okay. Now, let's see. Next. Jose Rivas and Roxana. So, uh, Roxana, you'll start. Okay. Uh, we are trying to improve our marketing or marketing its strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preference. Well, that's so, that so good. I think we should hire a web designer to help apps optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we all need to discuss how, how to improve our direct, direct marketing strategies. Okay, thank you very much. Ada and Maria Alejandra. Ada, you'll start. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumer data. 
and then we are the planning to optimize the content or or will page according to their reference. Well, that sounds, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The size need a make for. Yes, all right. Contact some people who need be able be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategy. Okay, Ada, already, already. Already. I already contacted. I already contacted. Okay, thank you. Okay. And Eliana and Frank. Frank, you'll start, please. Okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumer's data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Perfect, just perfect. Thank you guys. Thank you. Welcome. Heidi and yeah. Stephanie. Heidi, you'll start, please. Okay, we're trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumer's data. And then we're planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, web page, web page, okay. Stefan? Now let's see. Fernando, you ready? Yes, it's I am. Okay, I'll start. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, now we are going to go in the manual to page number 26. Let me share with you. Okay, the exercise. We got match the terms related to digital marketing to their corresponding meanings. Check your answers with a partner. We got direct marketing, multi-level marketing, consumer data, optimized content and sales leads. Okay, you will need to label them, please. You're gonna be working in small groups of three members. I'm gonna send you the screenshot and write a second. And I'm gonna send you to work in the groups right now. Four minutes is enough for this exercise.
dicen ustedes? It's a system for selling goods or services through a network or distribution. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> Multilevel marketing. Uh -huh. uh, on your own time, look at that link. Ah, okay, okay. I it's will. going. I assure you, it's going to confuse you a little bit more. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's uh, about the data and data, you know. Even ah, even okay. They have their minds about it. It's because I work with a lot of Pakistan uh, bosses. Oh, yeah, and but for for them, for them, the pronunciation is data. Uh, you want to know how I pronounce this word? I, I that, but. That's uh -huh. because it's the, the sound comes easier for them, like data. Mm, hi, it's just, but because I work with, with Native American too, so they say data. Yeah, but the thing is this, look, the word comes from Latin. Mm -hmm. ah. If you look at the root of the word, it comes from Latin. So the most proper would be data. Data, data. okay, yeah. data, okay. I will check that. But it. It's totally correct if you say data. Data. Yeah. data. yeah, that word, I use that word when we're talking about internet data. Yeah. Uh -huh. And also for people data, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yes. We use it in the same. Okay, data. I will try to say data. <laughs> data. data. No, it's okay if you say data. No, 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 but it's good to, to always improve and learn something new. Data. 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 Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Well, with the exercise, we are here trying to identify. We're in the number three right now. I agree with you. Multi-level multi -level marketing, right? Multi-level. Okay. Let's say it's number three. Uh, let's read the number four. Uh, we are just missing two, right? The sales lead and the direct marketing. The direct marketing. Direct. Yeah. Direct. <laughs> yeah. yeah. by, by the power is says lead because number five is the business of selling products or service directly to the public. Ah, okay, okay. That is direct marketing, number five. Direct, okay. direct marketing. Direct marketing. And, and number four is uh -huh. says, says lead. Says lead. Uh -huh. That's right. Okay, we are complete. We finished it. Okay, let's see what you got. Number one, we have consumer data. Uh -huh. Jose, read number two. And number two, making a website more attractive to share engines. Engines is the correct pronunciation to share. Engines. Engines. What, what, okay. What, 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 hold on, hold on, the second hold on. one, to search, to search engines. Search yeah. Engines, okay. And user, so we think that is optimized content. Content. Okay. And then number three. Number three. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Number three is multi level marketing. Uh -huh. four. Number four. Sales. Say, sales lead. And number five. Direct marketing. Okay. How do you pronounce that word, Ana Claudia? You like fight with pronunciations <laughs> direct or direct i always say direct okay the first pronunciation i learned was direct uh -huh. that's british ah okay direct yeah. is american, it's american. Ah, okay yeah. direct, direct marketing is, yeah direct marketing yeah. but if you say direct it's the british goes in the second one is british Direct. Wow, my God! We I talk a mixture of different things: Spanish, British. It, it depends <laughs> on the people who are like talking us. while you are getting those words. Mm, Australian. <laughs> I think it's kind of 
it's important to have like a style. If you speak British, British, but if you speak American, it will be American. But we talk a lot. Uh, well, I mean, if you go to live in New York, you will get the uh, and learn English there, you will get a mix of accents and pronunciation as you wouldn't imagine. Oh, really? Well, Teacher, yeah. Teacher, by any chance, uh, have you ever heard like uh, Los Mohamed, like the names like that, Mohamed? So that there are so, so they have it, so their names, so like kind of tricky to pronounce it. But all all of them, so the first one, or I don't know, so if, if the last the last name is Mohammed, have you ever heard that? So like like yeah, I, mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean that is that there are from Australia, I don't know how to say that that country, Australia. Ah. But I think that is from Australia. So but so they speak so like British and also like the accent that we have that is kind of tricky to understand. Oh. But it's from Australia because I I usually uh, yeah, that, get that those means you people were saying Mohammed, Mohammed, Mohammed. All of them, all of them have the same. And it's <laughs> and it's the it's the same name and. All of them are correct. It just depends on the country. Because no. you can say it, you can say Mohammed, you can say Mohammed. I mean, if you're in Pakistan, it sounds slightly different than if you are in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. No, but, but as I said, just that if you uh, heard like the accent that they have, so I don't know, so where they from, so, but actually the, the accent is kind of tricky to understand because they mix so the accent too. So like they say data, data is, so they oh, say like so. Oh, but if you're talking about people from Arabia, they got a big influence from British English. Yeah, so it is really tricky you know, to understand, those, right? All the people from, from, from Africa, they got a, Big, big influence from British English. Mm. Okay. I mean, people from Africa, people from Asia, uh, the influence is British. Europe, the English they speak, if you speak English with a Spaniard, with an Italian, with a French, the pronunciation you're going to hear is British. Mm. They Latin were called American people is the one that got used to speak uh, and look for to try to speak as American English. Mm. Sure. Yeah. The, the, the American English is, its origin is Britain. Yeah, it's British. It's uh, British, so it's British. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's different. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, like the, yeah. the Spanish, Castellano. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely. I mean, there they got some difference that are pretty interesting. I mean, even with vocabulary. Mm. Yeah, similar to the similar to the Spanish. Thing. Yeah. How do I say Castellano in English? Castilian. Castilian. Yeah. yeah. Or the Spanish from. Hi, hello, hello, hello. Tell me, did I get the second attendance? Do you remember? Mm, I guess you did, teacher. I don't remember. No, that happens. That comes with age. That's kind of cloudy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she always remembers. Let's see, you finished the exercise? Easy, right? Yeah.
No, she says we haven't. Okay. At we'll the second get it attendance. Right That's... now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, I didn't get the second attendance. I'll get it right in this moment. Ada Susana Casares Mendoza. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Ríos. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Liliana Gisal Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Montarrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Ok, thank you very much, guys. Uh, just to, to, to clarify something, uh, we were talking with some of your classmates. Uh, yeah, as I confirm what I told you right at the beginning. You can use data or you can use data. Both things are completely correct. And with the other word that was in the conversation, it was direct. Direct is American pronunciation. Direct is British, okay? So just to be clear about it. Now guys, let's see. The exercise was quite simple, simple, simple. We're gonna do it together and fast. Man, what is it? Oh my God. There we go. Okay, let's see, Heidi, tell me number one. The information. Uh, the information trail prospers to leave behind as a result of their internet use is consumer data. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Ileana, number two. Making a website more attractive to search engines and users we said that was uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, optimized content. Perfect. Number three, it is a system for selling goods or services through a network of distributors. Uh, Amber, what you got? Mm. Maybe it's sales leads. Mm. To be honest, is multi-level marketing. Okay. Okay, no, but thank you. Let's see, Francisco, what you got for number four? Uh, Initiation. Number four for, for me is sales, sales leads. Perfect, sales leads. And number five, the business of selling products or services directly to the public, that's direct marketing, okay? Okay, now, 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 we got us here exercise number five, okay? Rank the advantage, the advantages of, di of direct digital marketing from one, most significant, to four, less significant, from your perspective. What advantage helps online business attract more customers? Okay, now you are going to number them from one to four. 
but I need you to be ready and able to defend your pick, okay? If you say this is number one for you, I need you to tell me and to explain me why. You're going to be working in the same groups. You will have exactly six minutes to do this exercise. Remember, you need to be prepared to tell me why you pick that, okay? So groups are open, let's go do it. Ambar, my dear. Hey, Frank. Hey, teacher. You were, you were abandoned. Yeah, yeah. I'm working okay, alone. Let's, now, let's do something. I'll send you to another group, okay? Okay. Let me just check which group I'm going to send you to. Okay, there you go. If they are sending it internet, it is cheaper and in some case free. To get your brand's message out there. Okay. So for me, the most significant is uh, cheap is cheaper than yesterday. Compared to yesterday cost of running a magazine of radio ads, thanks to ever expanding yeah. internet, internet, it is cheaper and in some cases free to get your brand's message out there. Yeah, in my in my opinion too is is the the most significant because yeah, uh, yeah. maybe some people uh, doesn't have a, a mobile device or something to to hear about the my about them uh, maybe ads or I don't know a commercial so. I guess the most significant could be the last one. What about you, Roxanne? Yeah, I'm agree. Sure. On the other hand, oh. I think that company or people try to don't spend a lot of money on that. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe when they are start the the okay, uh, sales, for example, mm -hmm. they don't have a uh, money. money. So for no, me, uh, the number one is. DDM is cheap. Okay. So the last one is is the most significant. Yes. Then the number is two. Third one. 
Well, no, I no, think that three? number two is is me, is immediate. It comes immediate. Immediate. Yeah. Immediate. immediate. Eso. <laughs> Since mm. mobile user Eso. are almost what's that? <laughs> almost always within arms reach of their mobile devices. Mm. For me, this is the number two. Number two. Yeah, yeah, because you know, all people have a cell phone or, or two or three or look like that. And it's weird when a person doesn't have a mobile device. Yeah, in my opinion, the number three is DDM allows to measure the two success of your campaign, including the open rate on your message and click through rate. That is the number of people who follow your link below their inbox. Because in this moment, the person uh, already have a, a cell phone. So for number two is a mobile device. So I guess that number three could be that. Uh, I think the number three is targeted from companies send specific communication to a group of potential, potential customer. Um, uh, because it, for me, it's important to companies lead the efforts to communicate, um, to share their ads or, or the advertising or whatever and to a specific customer so they can uh, achieve their goal. Uh, so um, a little bit fast dance, just send through anyone. Mm -hmm. So we have different opinions. The number of people who, and that's the idea for you to discuss. Um, we start with companies and a specific communication. Company and a specific communication to a group customers. Last to measure this Well, in my point of view, I guess that the the allowance to measure the allowance to measure the success of campaign is based that the number two is immediate, since mobile users are almost always with arm bridge on their mobile device. Your text or email message will be sent in mere seconds. So in that point is that you already be a, a like customer. And if you see the number, well, the first one is says is target companies and a specific communication to a group of potential customers. But maybe that option is when you have a big company and pay uh representative a specific rep representative to share uh -huh. information about your about your product mm -hmm. right yeah. mm -hmm. so teacher yep we were discussing about this the advantages it's hard to make up your mind And it's a little bit difficult to make up your mind, right? Yeah, kind of. It's personal. I mean, it doesn't work the same for everybody. There's no like a given rule. Yeah, but, well. I mean, what I could rank as number one must be could be different to what you rank as number one because I mean, it's pretty objective. 
It's in your opinion, so it depends on how you see it. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. The idea <laughs> was for you to discuss the vocabulary, okay? Okay. Oops. Okay, let's see. I know you were discussing and some groups couldn't make up their minds about it. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't go to one group in order to listen to them, but I'm sure you were doing it properly. Sorry. Okay, guys, now it comes the time for our discussion. So we're going to talk. I'm going to give you a topic, a little hmm, complex topic that we are going to talk about. Let's see. Who is well? We're going to work, and now it's gonna be short. So be succinct with your opinions. Okay. The question that I'm going to give you is very simple. You know, uh, it's normal. I mean, we are used to hearing that uh, rich countries are they help poor countries, right? Rich governments they try to implement programs so they can help other countries toward specific areas. But my question for you is this, what kind of aid should the governments of rich countries give to poor countries? Money, food, medicine, machinery, equipment, hospitals, schools, training. What's your opinion, okay? Now, in this case, I don't want you to agree on nothing. I just want you to express your opinion. Five minutes is enough. Hurry up because I will ask at least 10 of you until we finish, okay? Okay, what kind of aid? Aid is advert. Is what is aid? Ayuda. Ayuda. Okay, thank you. The governments of rich countries give to poor countries money, food, money, money, M money. Yeah, like that. Money, food, medicine, machinery. Machinery. Yeah. Okay, equipment, equip that um, equipment, equipment. Equip, equip with M between P and E. Equipment. Oh, my mistake. Equipment. I'm sorry. Equip, oh, but it's equipment, right? Yeah, yeah, my bad. Okay, my bad. no, 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 the word teacher. Oh Hospitals, God. schools, no, the same. <laughs> schools and training. Oh, that's a hard question. Yes, it is. That's the idea. What do you think? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like Ada, she's in health. She could say, oh, hospitals. We need more hospitals. Yeah, right. Medicine, equipment. <laughs> yeah, for for yes. for equipping the the hospital system. You see, mm -hmm. it depends on your area. I don't know. In my case, I think that maybe could be schools and education because, yeah. well. I don't ah, know. You're, you're bad mouthing teachers. <laughs> now we're I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's up to you, it's up to you. It's okay, it's okay. I think that the education is very important, teacher. Maria Alejandra says no, money. She says money. That's money. <laughs> it's necessary 
prepare uh, different genres. Uh, it's necessary to prepare for uh, generate to generate capacity capacity in the pers in the in the yes in the persons uh, and with with capacity uh, is more easy is more easy uh, defenderse or or uh, conseguir teacher conseguir trabajo to acquire a job to acquire yeah to acquire a work okay okay what about what's your opinion on it Heidi I agree with them uh, the best uh, kind of aid governments can give is education schools and medicine and training because we okay. give you the it will give you the tools to to, to come ahead to, to, to go come ahead. ahead yeah yeah you're right you're right so we need almost everything yeah of course <laughs> Yes. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, but as you know, social changes. In order to start social changes, and yeah. and the view, your point of view towards education, uh, that's a social change. And in order to achieve those, you need long-term projects. Yeah, I mean, because a social change, uh, it's a generational one. You need at least between fifteen to twenty years in order to start seeing the results. Yeah, of course, but uh, sadly, our countries and our governments are not ready to, to receive it, I don't know how to say. Receive. Receive money as a, as a aid, right? To administrate, perhaps. No, but they are willing to yeah. receive. They are prepared to receive whatever yeah, you give. Ready, them. Yeah, but I mean, corruption and yeah, they, like that. Quite, yeah, they are not quite prepared to administrate it in a proper yes. way, perhaps. Yeah, of course. So, for that reason, uh, the most important thing must have been uh, education, right? Yeah, you're right. Hey, let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay, let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. So let's start, Heidi. What was your opinion again, please? Our opinion was what we need the most is education and training. Okay. Because that will give us tools to go, go ahead in life. Okay, specifically when you say education, which area would you would you uh, approach first? From your point of view, it, uh, from from the little ones. Okay. To start right at the beginning. Right at the beginning, yes, because the old ones are already made up their minds. Okay, so we are damaged. You are so bad, Heidi. <laughs> you are so bad. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to start changing them in order to see the results. I mean, in some years, it cannot be done overnight. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Like it. It was a pretty educated opinion. Thanks. Uh, Fernando, what about you? What do you think? What's your opinion? Uh, we, we were discussing in, in, in my group that the better option all are all we agree uh, is a uh, training and equipment because training joint equipment because money food medicine uh, it costs 
a mess <laughs> because you know the 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 human being. But uh, training is a knowledge, and all people should be designed should decide uh, what what can do or what how do with that knowledge. And I don't know, preach uh, a success. That's interesting. That's interesting. You know, because the first two who have participated have approached almost the same area, but from two different points of view. Because in your case, Fernando, you're talking about uh, perhaps more like short-term changes, right? Uh, right. Because when right. A specific, uh, for example, yeah. the and industrial industry. Yeah, industry. Or, or you know the. And nowadays the, the the devices are very important. So we can learn to I don't know to build a device or produce uh, some devices. For... Okay, no, that's perfect, perfect. Thank you. Mr. Rivas, Jose Rivas, what do you think? Okay, so I have the same point of view because I I was discussing with Fernando and Anna Claudia the same, that we have to invest basically in on trainings and in equipment too. Okay, excellent, thank you. And Welcome. Stephanie, what do you think? So in my case, I was talking with my partners and I talked with them that I, but in my case, I think that maybe the training because and we can start uh, given the education that they have, like the administration and stuff like that. And then they can see what else we need, if we need money or something like that with the previous knowledge and provide all the things that we need. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Rebecca, what about you? Eliana, please. Okay, I heard a little about the opinion of Heidi, and I think pretty, pretty the same. Uh, that maybe, um, let me see the question. Give me a sec. And, um, and maybe kind of yeah, uh, schools and education, because if we, if the next generation, well, in in, in El Salvador, uh, are are prepared, uh, they could be, uh, no, they be able to work for a better country. For example, if, if we have a, a, the next generation is, is prepared, maybe they can, they stayed in the country, you know, they don't need to, 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 to search opportunities. Yeah, elsewhere. Yeah, so uh, I think that the, the, if the people feel that the opportunities are in the country, people feel motivated to be better. But okay. uh, nowadays, I think that we don't have uh, the enough uh, support to prepare better the next generation. So for me, uh, schools and education is very important. Okay, perfect, thank you. Very well done. Guys, uh, homework. You will need to go online and read more, about, more information about the evolution of digital marketing from the 90s to these days. After looking and reading, that's easy, easy five minutes. I need you to uh, write a paragraph. About the topic. Okay. But uh, let me give you something else. Okay. 
Okay. Just a second. Uh, right now, I'm sending you something that I would like you to, if you have the time, to watch it. Okay? It's a little explanation about how to write a paragraph. Okay? And that's something extra that we are going to start working tomorrow. I will explain. Now, this homework that I'm leaving you is not for tomorrow. Tomorrow, for tomorrow, I just need you to watch the video and analyze it, okay? Then we are going to discuss, I'm going to give a small review, a small explanation about how to create a paragraph. Okay, I'm gonna help you. We are going to create one together. And then for Wednesday, you are going to present to me the, the homework, okay? So we are going to start working with a little bit of statistics. It's going to be interesting, and that's something that you really need to start practicing. It's going to be fun. You will find out that it's fun and it's easy. It's actually easy. So that's for uh, that's for tomorrow. Oh, uh, I can send it to WhatsApp personally, Fernando, because I'm not supposed to. Let's see. Uh, There you go. Okay, okay. If anybody else needs it directly, just let me know and I'll send it to you guys. Uh, let me just get the final attendance. Uh, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Teacher, are you from this one? Yes, Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. <laughs> Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Thank you, Rebeca. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Alejandra Salmeron Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Just one little thing else that I need to to remind you, is please try to finish section two in the platform. I just have like eight people who finish it. So come on guys, do your best and let me know if you need help. I'm here willing to help you, okay? Have a good night, see you tomorrow. Remember for tomorrow, just watch the video, okay? Okay, good night, good night, everybody. Take care. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hello, Marcos, how are you? Hello, teacher, fine. Uh, I'm just a little bit tired, but everything is fine. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. We are gonna make this fast and easy. Okay. Give me a second because there's just a little something that I would like you, I would like to share with you so you can like uh, start doing some, some exercises, okay? 
that are going to help you because in your case, I mean, you understand pretty well. Uh, I think what it's affecting you in your fluency a little bit is like vocabulary because when you're trying to express your ideas, I know, I noticed that you want, you know the idea you want to express. So that means that you're understanding perfectly. But when you start like trying to express your idea, you start like looking for the specific word for the yeah. correct expression. Okay. Now, what we do in order to get vocabulary, what we will do are two different exercises. Okay. Now, first, I need you. You are working on your computer right now? Yes. Okay. Hold on. I need you to get into this, check it out. If perhaps you can check it out tomorrow. Uh, what you will get there are some listening exercises. You are going to listen to not just listening, listening comprehension, uh, try to solve some exercises according to what you listen. And that's going to help you to acquire that vocabulary. That's one option. The second option I'm going to give to you is the following. Let me just set it up. Sorry. Just give me a second. Okay, let me share with you what you what I'm gonna show you. Okay, whenever you get into the platform, you get like this, right? This is the English Corporativo platform, right? Yes, yes. Okay, if you come all the way down, you will see here Centro de Ayuda. Okay? Yes, yes. If you click yes. on it, it will open this page. You come again all the way down and you got to Recursos Académicos. You see here? Yes. In Recursos Académicos, you got grammar, you got pronunciation, you got vocabulary, you got video conferences. Grammar is divided by levels, okay? Like basic, intermediate, and advanced. Pronunciation, it depends on the vocabulary. But here in vocabulary, okay, is what I want you to look at. Here you got specific vocabulary related to specific areas. This is something else that could help you, like everyday activities, personal care products, household cleaning and laundry, outside the home, the apartment building. And if you notice, we have many. You yeah. see? Pretty different ones. Okay, now. You can get into these ones and they are going to help you to acquire more vocabulary. Now, if you get into this, how do you work it? In order to work, the, in order to get it, the way that I would suggest you to work it is like this. Get like into personal, uh, personal care. You will get vocabulary there. Write a couple of those words and try to apply them into your regular activities. Okay. Okay. Francisco, okay, what are you doing here, my friend? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I, I uh, don't uh, uh, disturb the, the session. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. I will close it in a few seconds. Okay. Okay, please. So I'm sorry for that. So okay, no that way you get that vocabulary and start applying it in, in, your, in your daily life. And that's what I want you to do. As much vocabulary as you use in your daily life, it's going to be easier for you to memorize it because you will be relating it to things that are like common to you, to your culture, to, your, to what you do, what you see, okay? So try it and let's do something we got this week we got the, the period of vacation after vacation let me know if it's working for you and if it's not 
I will give you some extra tips, some extra material for you to practice, okay? Because I mean, not everybody under gets uh, learns in the same way. All of us, we are different. What works for you perhaps doesn't work for some other people. So if this doesn't work for you, you feel like, no, it's not really my thing. I will get you something different for you to do, okay? So do you agree? How do you like it? Would you like to, to, to try it at least? Yeah, I like, I, I would like to try to, to see that file and get more vocabulary because I, I need to, a specific list of terms to like, as you say, uh, in a specific topic or area, because I tend to, to get vocabulary from any any parts yeah in this uh, disorder this disaster <laughs> so yeah it's, but if it's, you get it specifically perhaps that functions better for you yeah let's yeah. try it Thank let's you. try it no my pleasure have a good night thank you for staying here okay teacher thank you for i take for care helping no it's a pleasure bye bye